The Haunted Broadcast by Skyly In the city of Bloomsville, there was a television station called Eerie TV, popular for its late-night horror movies and paranormal documentaries. The station was located on the outskirts of town, surrounded by dense forests and abandoned buildings. One night, the station's owner, Mr. Thompson, received a mysterious package containing old film reels, labeled The Haunted Broadcast. Intrigued, he decided to play the reels on live TV, without knowing the horrific consequences that would follow. As the clock struck midnight, the haunted broadcast aired on Erie TV, attracting a large audience. The film showed a group of people exploring an abandoned building, but as they entered, strange things started to happen. Doors would open and close on their own, whispers echoed through the halls, and shadowy figures were seen lurking in the corners. The audience watched in terror as the group became trapped in the building, their screams and cries for help reaching the viewers at home. Suddenly, the screen went black and the TV station went off the air, leaving everyone in the city in complete darkness. The next morning, the city was in chaos. The people who had watched the haunted broadcast were acting strangely, as if possessed by some evil force. They spoke in hushed tones, and their eyes glowed with a sinister light. As more and more people fell under the spell of the haunted broadcast, the city was consumed by fear and paranoia. It was as if the fictional world of the film had become a reality, and the spirits from the reels had come to life. The few remaining sane residents of Bloomsville soon realized that the TV station was the epicenter of this evil. They ventured to Erie TV, determined to put an end to the madness. But when they entered the building, they found themselves in a twisted version of reality. The walls were covered in blood and the air was thick with the stench of death. And in the control room, they found Mr. Thompson, possessed by the very spirits he had unleashed. With a crazed look in his eyes, Mr. Thompson revealed the truth behind the haunted broadcast. The footage was real, filmed by a group of paranormal investigators who were cursed by the very evil they were trying to capture. And now, the spirits had found a new home in the fictional town of Bloomsville, created by Eerie TV as part of a twisted experiment. The remaining residents of Bloomsville were able to defeat the spirits and destroy the cursed reels, but the damage had already been done. The city was forever changed, and Erie TV was never heard from again. To this day, people in the neighboring cities avoid venturing near the abandoned building that was once Erie TV. Rumors say that on dark nights, you can still hear the haunted broadcast playing, and those who dare to listen are never seen again. But one thing is for sure, the horrors unleashed by Eerie TV will never be forgotten.